All right, so in this video, I just wanna briefly explain and answer some questions about my new lion's mane extract, which I released probably a year and a half ago at this point or something. Uh, but I, don't, I haven't made a video about it yet and haven't really explained it other than just what's on the website. But I've got a lot of questions about it because it's a completely different extract than what's available, both in what it actually is, the constituents that it contains, how it's made, how it looks, and how it tastes. So like, can't imagine why people would be confused. Because <laughs> uh, my previous lion's mane extract was an eight to one hot water extract of just the fruiting body. And it had a light uh, color and just kind of a light mushroomy flavor. Whereas the extract now is dark black, chocolatey, and tastes like kind of chocolate to me, which I think is great. It's really delicious. Uh, and it's a completely different extract. It's made from 50% mycelium, 50% fruiting body. So I'm gonna get a little technical for a little bit because some people care, some people are into it, other people don't care. So just keep that in mind. Feel free to fast forward if you don't care about technicalities. Basically, there's an idea of people like mycelium sucks, which I agree, mycelium does suck. Most of the mushroom products on the market are just made up from mycelium and they're not that great. They're not that effective. Why does mycelium suck and why do people say that? Because the vast majority of time mycelium is grown on brown rice, corn, or other just oats, sugary type fillers. So then what happens is two things. The mycelium can only consume about half of what it's growing on, so the end product is 50% growth medium, or 50% oats, and 50% whatever mycelium, cordyceps or lion's mane or whatever it is. So then if you test that for, let's say, polysaccharides, basically the polysaccharides you're getting are from the oats, not from the mushroom. So you're paying for a product that's half oats, half mycelium, but who knows how much of the polysaccharides and active con constituents are actually from the mushroom versus the growth medium. But that's mostly what people are doing because they don't know the difference or if they do, they don't care because it's really cheap and quick and easy to produce. So you can make really quick, cheap, easy products, sell them to a lot of people. And the flavor is pretty mild and pretty bland. So people like it, they take it, whatever, that's fine. So that's why mycelium sucks. And I agree, that's why I don't use it. I haven't ever used it. And I never will for myself or for my business because it's it sucks, it's not good. Except, for the mycelium that I use for lion's mane and for cordyceps because those are grown via liquid fermentation. So basically it ends up with a product that's completely uh, pure mushroom, no, my no uh, growth medium, no liquid, no nothing left over. And we can do it over a much longer growing cycle, which in this case for the lion's mane is like 90 days because why we use the mycelium is because there's uh, I can't remember which is which, whether it's arenosines or heresinones. One is in the fruiting body, one is in the mycelium. So because we wanted both in the extract, we had to use both, hence why it's 50-50 mycelium and fruiting body. So the mycelium component pulls in one of the family of constituents, and then the fruiting body pulls in the other half. So that's why the end result of our extract is about one or so percent arenosines and one or so percent heresinones which is actually a really high amount for an extract to have because both of those are really effective in quite low, 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 low milligram dosages, which I've already explained on the website. I have a blog about it. Actually, I actually have multiple blogs about that. I have the third-party lab tests, which verify the product contains the chemicals that I said and claimed that it contains and explaining the actual dosages uh, for the, the product and then so let's say per teaspoon you're getting this amount of arenosines, this amount of heresinones, of ar arenosine A, etc. Because for the, the nerdy dorky people who spend hours reading clinical journals and who want to know exactly how much arenosine A is in per gram, we laid all that out so you can just know exactly what you're dosing. Or for me, I just take like a teaspoon or two every day and I don't really worry too much about the exact milligrams. All I know is it's made me feel a lot better and uh, I keep feeling better and it's doing really good things for my nervous system. Uh, that's kind of more so how I look at it. But I wanted to explain some of what goes in behind the scenes because the price went up a decent amount, even though on my end, the price that I was paying more than doubled, but I didn't more than double my price. I think I only raised it by like $15 per four ounce. 
uh, because I would rather sell a better product and sell that better product to more people than charge, I don't know, 90 to to $100 for a four ounce unit just because that's like what the margins would be. So it's a really amazing extract. It's extremely potent and effective, but for all the reasons that I've listed, it's extremely different there. It's completely different than basically everything else that's available. And it's completely different than what I was selling before. Uh, and for me, I'm really excited about it. It's a vastly superior product to any lion's mane that I've ever seen or taken. It has vastly better benefits and effects than any other lion's mane that I've taken uh, in terms of helping to heal your nervous system from the nerve growth factor and the brain nerve growth factor from the arenosines and heresinones and then all of the cascade of benefits that can come about from that. So I encourage you to read on the website for more of the benefits and effects and things that I have on the blog and feel free to read clinical journals or other things like that because they've already outlined quite a lot of the fairly proven benefits. Uh, so anyways, that's the product and it's amazing. I think you should try it. It's one of my favorite products. I take it every day. So there you go. I'll talk to you soon. Boom.